Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Gems of Knowledge. Today in this class, I'm going to teach you about the Pythagorean triplets from the chapter squares and square roots of class 8. So before starting my video, make sure to subscribe to my channel and also click on the bell button to get the notification as soon as I post my new videos. So I hope you remember we have completed with the first exercise that is exercise 5.1. So in today's video, we are going to deal with the exercise 2 wherein you need to learn about the Pythagorean triplet. So let me introduce you this topic first. So what are Pythagorean triplets? According to your textbook in CRT, they have given for any natural number m which, which is greater than 1. Any number m which is greater than 1. We have the formula 2m whole square plus m square minus 1 whole square is equals to m square plus 1 whole square where 2m m square minus 1 and m square plus 1 forms a Pythagorean triplet. Okay. So this is the formula where you can understand what is Pythagoras sorry Pythagorean triplets. Okay. So there are three terms here. Whatever we are putting here it is you can see here just an example I have shown you here. For example, let m is equals to 3. We need to substitute in the above given formula. That is m is equals to 3 in the sense here 2 into 3 whole square we are getting. Okay. And m square means 3 square minus 1 whole square we are getting here. 3 square minus 1 whole square we are getting. And here m square plus 1 whole square means 3 square plus 1 whole square we are getting. Okay. It is a Pythagorean triplet. So how this is a Pythagorean triplet you can see here 3 twos are 6 we are getting 6 square. Square we will keep as it is this square which is outside. Okay. This outside the bracket whatever square is there we will keep that square as it is. Okay. So just see 2 threes are 6 we are getting and this square will be as it is here. Okay. 3 square is again 9. 9 minus 1 is 8 and this square we will keep as it is which is equals to 3 square is 9. 9 plus 1 is 10 again and this square we will keep as it is. Okay. So 6 square we are getting 36 plus 8 square is nothing but 8 into 8 that is 64 and 10 square is 10 into 10 that is 100. So if we add this both we are going to get 100 itself. So when we are getting the left hand side as well as right hand side equal with this formula then we can say that the particular numbers are in Pythagorean and triplet okay triplet in the sense in the three numbers which are exactly equal okay okay i hope this concept is cleared out so let us quickly move on to your exercise 5.2 wherein they have given the following questions so the first question is find the square of the following number okay in that first one is 32 so to find out the square of this number what we will do is we cannot directly square it here and 32 into 32 we need to multiply no what we will do here is this 32 can be written as 30 plus 2 square. Actually, this is 32 square. Okay, square of the following numbers. This is the number and we need to find out the square of this number. So, what we will do is we will convert this 32 into two parts. Okay, so that will be 30 plus 2, 32. 30 plus 2 is 32 and that is square. So, this we can write it as 30 plus 2 again into 30 plus 2. Isn't it? Just because they have given a square means two times, multiplying two times. Now what we will do here is we will take this 30 first and we will multiply with this whole number that is 30 plus 2. Again we will take this 2 and we will multiply with this whole number that is plus 2 and 30 plus 2. Okay. So now we need to multiply this 30 into 30 that is you can see here 3 3s are 9 we are getting and 2 zeros we are having so we will write 2 zeros plus 30 into 2 okay that is 2 3s are 6 and the 0 will be as it is plus again 2 3s are 6 and the 0 will be as it is plus 2 2s are 4 we are getting. Now if you add this whole that is 900 plus 60 plus 60 plus 4 what we are going to get here 4 6 plus 6 is 12 okay and 10 isn't it so we are going to get 1 0 2 4 this will be the answer okay okay so moving on to the next question second question they have given again 35 here it was 32 and here they have given us 35 so 35 can be written as 30 plus 5 whole square which is equals to 30 plus 5 and again into 30 plus 5 so again the same manner we have to do it here that is we need to take this 30 first and multiply by this whole term that is 30 plus 5 okay and then we need to take this 5 second number and again we need to multiply this with the whole term okay so here we are getting 3 3s are 9 and 2 zeros again so 30 into 30 this is nothing but 30 into 30 we are going to get 900 plus 
13 into 5 we need to do. So 3 5s are 15 we are getting and 1 0 will keep as it is. Plus 5 3s are 15 and this 0 will be as it is. Plus 5 5s are 25. Now again if we add this that is 900 plus 150 plus 150 plus 25. We are going to get 5. 5 plus 5, 10. 10 plus 2 is 12. 2 and 1 is carried. 9 plus 1, 10. 11 and 12. So we are getting 1, 2, 2, 5. Okay. So this is the second one. Next moving to the third one that is 86 we are having. So here also 86 in the sense we are going to write this is square. Okay. Here also it is square. 86 square can be written as 80 plus 6 whole square. It will become 80 plus 6 into 80 plus 6. Okay. Again the same thing. 80 we are going to take and it is multiplied by this whole term. That is 80 plus 6. Again plus 6 the second term we are going to take and it is again multiplied by 80 plus 6. So we are getting 80 into 80. 8 8s are 64 and 2 zeros. Plus 8 6 are 48 plus this 0. Plus 6 8s are 48 plus this 0. Plus 6 6 are 36 we are getting. Okay. Then if we add this. That is 6 4 double 0. 4 8 0 4 8 0. Plus 36 we are getting 6. 8 1s are 8. 8 2s are 16. 17 18 19. 9 and 1 carried. 4 1s are 4. 4 2s are 8. 4 3s are 12. 13. 3 and 1 is carried. 6 plus 1 is 7. So the final answer is 7 3 9 6. Okay. This is all plus. 7 3 9 6. Next question is 93. That is fourth question. Again 93 square in the sense 90 plus 3 whole square they are getting. Okay. It will be again the same 90 plus 3 and 90 plus 3. Okay. So we can write 90. First term we are going to take and we are multiplying this whole number that is 90 plus 3. Plus second term we are taking that is 3 and again we are multiplying by this whole number. So we are getting 9 9s are 81 and this 2 zeros plus 9 3s are 27 and this 0 plus 3 9s are 27 and the 0 plus 3 3s are 9 we are getting. Okay. Then if we add all this we are going to get 8 1 double 0 plus 270 plus 270 plus 9. So here we are going to get 9. 7 7s are 14. 4 and 1 is carried. So 2 2 4 5 6 and 8. So final answer is 8 6 4 9. Okay. Okay. Moving further for the next question that is 71. 71 square. So that will be 70 plus 1 whole square. It will be equal to 70 plus 1 into again 70 plus 1. So it will be 70 into 70 plus 1. The same thing. This is multiplied by this whole number plus this one is multiplied by this whole number. Okay. So we are getting 7 7s are 49. We are getting okay 49 and 0 0 as it is plus 70 1s are 70 plus 1 into 70 is 70 plus 1 1s are 1. So if you add all this that is 70 70 and 1 okay so we are getting 1 here 7 7s are 14 4 and 1 is carried 9 plus 1 is 10 and 5 so it will be 5041 okay so the last question here that is sixth one it is given as 46 square so it will be 46 in the sense 40 plus 6 whole square which is equals to 40 plus 6 and again 40 plus 6 Okay, so it will become, you can see here, it is 40 into 40 plus 6 plus 6 into 40 plus 6. So it will be 4 4s are 16 and 2 zeros plus 4 6 are 24 and 1 0 plus 6 4s are 24 and 1 0 plus 6 6 are 36. So if you add all this, that is 240 plus 240 plus 36, we are getting 6. 4 on the 4, 4 2 are 8, 9, 10, 11, 1 and 1 will be carried. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 1 and 1 is carried. Again, this is 2. So we are getting 2, double 1, 6. 
ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन दैट इज सेकेंड क्वेश्चन इज राइट अ पाइथोगोरियन ट्रिपलेट हुज वन मेंबर इज सिक्स फोर्टीन सिक्सटीन एंड एटीन फोर क्वेश्चन आर गिवन सो अकॉर्डिंग टू द फॉर्मूला वी आर हैविंग टू एम होल स्क्वायर प्लस एम स्क्वायर माइनस वन होल स्क्वायर विच इज इक्वल्स टू एम स्क्वायर प्लस वन होल स्क्वायर एज आई हैव टोल्ड यू अबाउट दिस फॉर्मूला इन टू बिगनिंग ऑफ दिस वीडियो ओके सो वी नीड टू कंसिडर दिस सिक्स एज एनी वन ऑफ दिस ओके एनी वन ऑफ दिस एनी वन मेंबर ऑफ अमोंग दिस सो वी विल कंसिडर इट एज टू एम वाई वी नीड टू कंसिडर इट एज टू एम ओनली आई विल टेल यू ओके सो फर्स्ट वी विल कंसिडर दिस एज टू एम विच इज इक्वल्स टू सिक्स टू एम इज सिक्स ना वॉट इज अवर एम एम इज इक्वल्स टू सिक्स बाई टू दैट इज टू एंड टू टू थ्री जो सिक्स सो एम इज इक्वल्स टू थ्री वी आर गेटिंग ओके सो फर्स्ट मेंबर दिस इज द फर्स्ट वन ओके टू एम इज इक्वल्स टू सिक्स वी गॉट एम इज इक्वल्स टू थ्री नाउ दिस वन वी गॉट दैट इज सिक्स नाउ वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट दिस दैट इज एम स्क्वायर माइनस वन ओके इट विल बी इक्वल्स टू एम स्क्वायर वॉट इज अवर एम स्क्वायर थ्री स्क्वायर थ्री स्क्वायर माइनस वन विच इज इक्वल्स टू थ्री स्क्वायर इज नाइन नाइन माइनस वन इज इक्वल्स टू एट सो वी गॉट एम स्क्वायर माइनस वन इज इक्वल्स टू एट दिस इज अवर सेकेंड नंबर ओके देन फॉर द थर्ड केस वी आर हैविंग दैट इज यर यू कैन सी एम स्क्वायर प्लस वन वी आर हैविंग ओके सो एम स्क्वायर इज नथिंग बट थ्री स्क्वायर Plus one, which is equals to three square, is nine plus one, which is equals to ten. So the third term we are having m square plus one is equals to ten. We are having, okay. So what is the Pythagorean triplet here? Six, eight, and ten. Okay, okay. So now I am going to tell you if we take six as this number, what will happen? Just see here. If we take two m square minus one is equals to six. Then what will happen? M square is equals to if we move this one to this side, it will become six plus one. After moving this minus to this side, it will become plus one. So M square is equals to seven. We will be having. So what will be our M? M is equals to root of seven. So if we substitute that root of seven here again, it will get complicated term again. See, if we substitute this M here, it will get two M. That is. Two into root seven, we are getting that will be again complicated. So instead of solving all this, we have taken our six to be as two m. Okay. Similarly, we'll go on for the second case that is fourteen. Okay. So two m is equals to fourteen. We will consider. Okay. First one, two m is equals to fourteen. So what will be m? M is equals to fourteen by two. So two ones are two sevens are. So our m is equals to seven. We got. Okay. This is the first term. Then second term is m square minus one. So m square minus one, which is equals to m square, is seven square minus one. So what is seven square? Seven square is forty nine. Seven sevens are forty nine. Forty nine minus one is forty eight. So m square minus one is forty eight. This is the second term. Okay. Then third term is m square plus one. We are having. So m square is seven square plus one. So seven square is seven seven is a forty nine plus one, which is equals to fifty. So m square plus one is nothing but fifty. So what are the three terms we are having? That is fourteen, forty eight, and fifty. So what is our Pythagorean triplet? Fourteen, forty eight, and fifty. Okay. For the third case, again they have given us sixteen here. You can see the question. Third number is sixteen. So if we move on to the sixteen again, we need to consider two m is equals to sixteen. So it will be m is equals to sixteen by two. Two ones are two eights are sixteen. So m is equals to eight. We got it here. Okay, this is our first term. M is equals to eight. We got m square minus one is equals to eight square minus one. That is eight square is. Eight is a sixty-four. Sixty-four minus one. That is sixty-three. We got that is m square minus one. Our second term is sixty-three. Then m square plus one we are having. That is again eight uh, square plus one. That is eight is a sixty-four plus one, which will be equals to sixty-five. This is the third term. M square plus one will be equals to sixty-five. So what are our uh, terminologies here? Pythagorean, Pythagorean triplet: sixteen, sixty-three, and sixty-five. Sixteen, sixty-three, and sixty-five. Okay. Similarly, for the last one, you can expect, you can see two m is equals to eighteen again. This is the first term. 
ओके एम इज इक्वल्स टू एटीन बाई टू सो टू वन जार टू नाइन जार एटीन सो एम इज इक्वल्स टू नाइन वी गॉट सो इफ यू सब्सटीट्यूट एम स्क्वायर माइनस वन इट विल बी नाइन स्क्वायर माइनस वन नाइन नाइन जार एटी वन माइनस वन विच विल बी इक्वल्स टू एटी सो एम स्क्वायर माइनस वन सेकेंड टर्म इज नथिंग बट एटी सिमिलरली एम स्क्वायर प्लस वन विल बी इक्वल्स टू नाइन स्क्वायर प्लस वन वी आर हैविंग नाइन नाइन जा एटी वन प्लस वन अगेन सो एम स्क्वायर प्लस वन इज इक्वल्स टू एटी टू सो दिस इज दी थर्ड टर्म सो वट इज अवर पाइथागोरियन ट्रिपलेट हियर यू कैन सी एटीन एटी एंड एटी टू सो इट इज एटीन एटी एंड एटी टू ओके सो आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड विद ऑल दिस पाइथागोरियन ट्रिपलेट एंड द स्क्वायर्स विच आई हैव थॉट यू सो इफ यू आर हैविंग एनी डाउट्स रिगार्डिंग दिस यू कैन कमिंग मी डाउन बिलो एंड ऑल्सो इफ यू हैव नॉट वॉच्ड विद द फर्स्ट एक्सरसाइज दैट इज एक्सरसाइज फाइव पॉइंट वन आई विल लिंक इट डाउन इन टू द कमेंट बॉक्स आई लिंक इट डाउन इन टू द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स यू कैन चेक इट आउट सो डोंट फर्गेट टू लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब आई बी बैक विद अनदर वीडियो दैट इज ऑन नेक्स्ट एक्सरसाइज सो टिल देन स्टे ट्यून एंड स्टे कनेक्टेड थैंक यू